Hello everyone, I'm Chin, and today we'll be preparing a project for submission. So let me just share my screen. So by now, you should have finished the project details, the coding sequence report form, as well as the synteny table. You might also have finished the UTR and TSS annotation report form, but that's something your instructor would have to instruct you to do. And now we're getting ready to prepare our project for submission. If you remember last time, I told you not to close the gene model checker because that's what we start off with. So we go to the download section and we download the GFF, the transcript sequence, and the peptide sequence file for the PC isoform. We also need to download all of those three files for every other isoform. So the B isoform, the A isoform, as well as the D isoform. Since we're doing the CDS annotation in our case, we don't have to change any of the coordinates because everything else is the same for all isoforms. So the only thing we need to change is change it from PC to PA, verify gene model, confirm that everything's fine, and in the dot plot it says PA, so that's good, and we have to download all three files for the PA isoform. We also have to do the same thing for PB, so PB, verify, confirm that it's PB, and download all three files again. And also confirm for PD, so PD, verify, confirm, download three files. Now that they're all downloaded, let's just see what the files look like in the File Explorer or Finder on Mac. So these are the 12 files that I have. There are three files each for four isoforms. I'm just going to copy all of them and move them to a uh, Erecta Cal1 folder I made before. So we're going to have 12 files. Three files each for four isoforms. What the annotation report form tells us to do is to go to the annotation file merger, which is again linked in the description. So now it asks us to select the file type and merge the files. So let's just go with GFF first. So it opens up the file browser, just go to the location where your files are and select the GFF. So GFF 1, 2, 3, and 4, and hit choose. And now we can just merge the files so it uploads all of them, merges them, and it's ready to download. So just right click on it, downloading file as, and this is where you change the name of the file. It's very important because usually it's just a random string. So you need to change the name to d erecta cull1, so d-e-r-e -E underscore cull1, and that's going to change in what model you have. So now let's merge another set of files. Let's do the transcript files. So it's the same process. Anytime you see a FASTA, select that because that's the transcript file. Choose, merge, right click download and change the name to director underscore call one dot FASTA because that's the extension. And now we need to merge our last set of files, the peptide files. So select peptide, um, select files to upload, select the dot PEP files, choose, upload, right click download linked file as, change the name to director call one dot pep and you're done. So now if we go back to our file browser or file explorer or finder, we can delete all the 12 files that we downloaded from the gene model checker because they're all encompassed within the files that were merged by the annotation file merger. I would also highly, highly suggest you get rid of the TXTs for all the file extensions for two reasons. One is it because the extension tells us what information is in the file, and two, it kind of makes it easier for me when I have like 100 models to kind of put into our pipeline. And that's literally it. You're done. The only thing left to do is submit either the folder or the files within the folder to your faculty instructor. And that's it. So there's four files which you need to submit to your faculty. The FASTA, the peptide, the GFF, as well as the Word doc of the PDF, and then your faculty will create them and then give them to us to kind of do the analysis holistically. I hope that was helpful. If there's anything else, please visit our TAs. The TA schedule is in the description below, and your faculty will give you the link to the TAs. Other than that, stay safe.